All the art of living lies in a fine mingling of letting go and holding on. The absence of flaw and beauty is itself a flaw. The promised land always lies on the other side of a wilderness. Every artist writes his own autobiography. To be a leader of men one must turn one's back on men. Thinking in its lower grades is comparable to paper money, and in its higher forms it is a kind of poetry. Every man of genius sees the world at a different angle from his fellows, and there is his tragedy. A sublime faith in human imbecility has seldom led those who cherish it astray. It is only the great men who were truly obscene. If they had not dared to be obscene, they could never have dared to be great. The parents have not only to train their children, it is of at least equal importance that they should train themselves. A woman is a real human being, with sexual needs and sexual responsibilities, morality has often known nothing. The relation of the individual person to the species he belongs to is the most intimate of all relations. Dreams are real as long as they last. Can we say more of life? What we call progress is the exchange of one nuisance for another nuisance. There is nothing that war has ever achieved that we could not better achieve without it. What we call morals is simply blind obedience to words of command. Sex lies at the root of life, and we can never learn to reverence life until we know how to understand sex. The romantic embrace can only be compared with music and with prayer. When love is suppressed hate takes its place. Men who know themselves are no longer fools. They stand on the threshold of the door of wisdom. The mathematician has reached the highest rung on the ladder of human thought. Pain and death are a part of life. To reject them is to reject life itself. Jealousy, the dragon which slays love under the pretense of keeping it alive. All civilization has from time to time become a thin crust over a volcano of revolution. However well organized the foundations of life may be, life must always be full of risks. The place where optimism most flourishes is the lunatic asylum. A man must not swallow more beliefs than he can digest. The more rapidly a civilization progresses, the sooner it dies for another to rise in its place. One can know nothing of giving aught that is worthy to give unless one also knows how to take. No act can be quite so intimate as the sexual embrace. There is a very intimate connection between hypnotic phenomena and religion. The byproduct is sometimes more valuable than the product. It is on our failures that we base a new and different and better success. In philosophy, it is not the attainment of the goal that matters, it is the things that are met with by the way. There has never been any country at every moment so virtuous and so wise that it has not sometimes needed to be saved from itself. Birth control is effecting, and promising to effect, many functions in our social life. Still, whether we like it or not, the task of speeding up the decrease of the human population becomes increasingly urgent.